And again, as we say, there are many things we find incidentally every single day. This is list is just a few of them, but we know, for example, um, 60% of renal cells are incidental findings. Uh, PEs, 5% of oncology patients have incidental PEs. Pancreatic cystic tumors, we talked about, we mentioned in the last talk, 5 plus percent of the population minimum. Pheochromocytomas, when you look at pheos, 70% of pheos are incidental findings. Is not a patient presenting with hypertension. So there are lots of important findings. And again, as I mentioned, the ER, people say a third of patients in the ER have incidental findings. It's ER is often challenging because we don't have old films. The single best thing to get rid of a questionable finding is an old film. But many times in the ER, you don't have old films, you have minimal clinical history, and the scan protocols are indeed very limited. Now, one of the things to me, I think, that helps avoid incidental findings <clears throat> is really knowing what you're looking for. So let's look at some examples. If you look at this kidney case here, there's a lesion in the left kidney, but it's well-defined and it's 86 Hounsfield units. Yes, I have no contrast study, but if a lesion measures over 70 Hounsfield units, it's gonna be benign, okay? You don't need to do any studies. But take the same patient. What if I only gave you an arterial phase image? The patient was being done to rule out aortic aneurysm. It measures minimally higher, and that's just from beam hardening. But you would look at this and say, look, I discovered an incidental renal cell carcinoma, right? Or if I gave you the delayed phase, you would say, look, I discovered an incidental renal cell carcinoma, but knowing if you go back, it was a high-density renal cyst. So what's very important is to understand that. So if you have this patient and the patient's still on the scanner, we have the text go back and get a few scans through the kidney because then you know for sure that it's going to be a high density cyst. If you don't have the non contrast scans, bring the patient back. Remember, 25% of patients, even today, who go to surgery for renal cell carcinoma have benign lesions. That's because someone looks at this scan and says, papillary renal cell carcinoma, let's remove it. And the patient gets a partial nephrectomy and the patient gets good news, it's a benign lesion, but the patient needed no surgery at all. So certain rules, above 70 non-contrast, well-defined, 99.9%, .9%, it's benign. And again, that makes life very easy and we also know that when you start looking at numbers under 20 Hounsfield units or containing fat, lesions are also going to be benign if you see them on a non-contrast scan. So in the ER setting, if you find a renal lesion, let's say three centimeters, it measures less than 20, measures over 70. Either of those two, it's a benign lesion and those patients do not need to come back. The average density of a renal cell carcinoma on non contrast CT is between 35 and 38 Hounsfield units. So if you look at a non contrast scan and something measures 38, then you have to be worried it's going to be a cancer. So here's that rule. Above 70, it's a high density cyst. Below 20, renal cyst simple. 20 to 70 indeterminate with cancers focused around 37. So in the ER setting, not every patient will need to come back. Now, other issues I have in the ER, you, you did this patient, and this patient was done for an aortic aneurysm. Again, very similar to the last case. There's a lesion in the left kidney. You say, aha, that lesion is worrisome, looks like a tumor. Let's do a partial nephrectomy. You look at it on excretory phase. It's solid as well, probably papillary renal cell carcinoma. But if you brought the patient back, there it is on non-contrast CT. It's high density. This was a high density renal cyst. So again, you want to be very careful. In the ER setting, if you, have, if you notice the lesion, if your texts are really good or you see the lesion, get another sequence. If a lesion is a high density cyst, it stays exactly the same from arterial to venous to delayed to non-contrast. So it saves time and not every patient will need to be worked up in the entirety. Obviously, lesions that contain fat, 
That's an easy leave alone lesion. It's a myelolipoma. The ones that become trickier are this lesion, but you have to look very carefully because this little dot here is fat. Again, on incidental lomas, incidental renal masses, if you see any fat in the lesion, it's a myelolipoma. You don't need to see like the prior case where everything is fat, just a little bit of fat right there. You could save the patient from going to surgery. You could save the patient from getting an entire workup.